Hello everybody and welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Well this screencast will be for Windows 7 users who want to delete your Linux operating system next to your Windows 7 operating system assuming that of course you have a dual boot system. Let's say you, you installed a Linux operating system like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, whatever. Now you decided to uninstall it safely for whatever reason but keep your Windows 7 side of the hard drive. Okay, what I've done here is I, I downloaded a program and I was right in the middle of the process of doing what I needed to do and I figured you know what let me just post this quick video and I will show you how to do it. Well the first thing you need to do <coughs> excuse me is to download a program called Easy BCD 2.0. Here's a screenshot here. This is what it looks like when it is installed on your computer. What you want to be looking for here after you install this is to go down to the bootloader setup, click that. Okay, let's go. Let me start mine. Now again, this is Windows 7. It may look uh, like Windows XP, but I just changed the default uh, wallpaper desktop to make it look like Windows 7 to keep it easy. Uh, or rather make it look like Windows XP. Bootloader setup. Now, I have already done this. Now, what you want to do is, before you continue, is to back up any and all important information that you have in your Ubuntu Linux operating system. Back up any information you have, flash drive, ex external hard drive, whatever you have. Reboot into Windows 7 and back up any information that you have on the Windows 7 side of your computer. This is the preferred way to repair and uninstall Linux if you do not have the Windows 7 operating system disk. Okay, here I would click right MBR. At the bottom it would say please wait. Now I have already done this. Make sure you click first install the Windows Vista 7 bootloader to the MBR first. Okay, like I said I already done that. Let me highlight my computer management. Now this is how you get to computer management. Click start, highlight my computer, right click, manage. Double click disk management. Now like I said I was right in the middle of doing this and I decided to post this quick video. Down here you will have various different partitions. Basically what you want to do here is highlight and right click and delete anything that does not say that does not say NTFS because that is your Windows 7 partition and or partitions so again highlight anything here at the bottom that does not I repeat that does not say NTFS right click and delete all of them now once you've done that you will wind up with unallocated space. Now in my particular demonstration here for this for this laptop I have 15 gigabytes of unallocated space. I have 40 gigabytes, 40.79 gigabytes of my Windows 7 partition and here's 100 megabytes which, which is probably the swap. Okay, I'm going to go and highlight this, right click, and if you see here you have new simple volume, properties, help, you can right click and go to that if you wanted to get more information on that unallocated partition. But for this demonstration, I will avoid that. Go to the partition which has the highest uh, size of the uh, hard drive, in my case 40.79 gigs. Highlight that, right click, click and, or highlight and click Extend Volume. Welcome to the Extend Volume Wizard click next. Now as you see here this has been already highlighted of what I have left how much space I have left on the hard drive to extend so it's already highlighted I will click next alright this highlighted highlighted already or you selected the following settings it's, it's in the control box here click finish and there I go I have now my full 55.79 gigabytes of the NTFS minus of course the space required for the BIOS. Now if all this 
has gone through correctly and it should you should be able to reboot and see only the Windows 7 bootloader and nothing else well that's it once again before you do this just to do a quick recap back up any information on your Linux side of your computer whether it's Ubuntu Linux Mint Zorin it doesn't matter back up your information to a flash drive reboot into Windows 7 do the same thing download and install EasyBSD now once again this is the preferred method if you do not do not have the Windows 7 operating system disk go down the bootloader here at the left click write MBR please wait get out of that now the rest I'll just go through it real quick I won't do the whole thing again go to computer manage <coughs> disk management and then go at the bottom and then remember to delete anything that does not say NTFS. This is how I do it and it works for me. Well, that's it. I knew I know I, I know I do a lot of uh, Linux videos, but I try to do both Windows and Linux since I am a dual booter. And I'll probably do another one or two Windows uh, tutorials after this. Uh, after that, I will probably do a review of Zorin Ultimate. And then after that, I'm preparing my notes for the ultimate showdown this year, which is Windows 7 versus Linux for 2011. That should be very interesting. All right, guys, that's it. As always, thank you for watching Total OS Today. And as always, I will catch you sometime in the future.